This is day three, which would have been Tuesday of the Passion Week. And today we're gonna to talk about the Olivet Discourse. I'm Brandi Keith, and I'm the Life Group Director here at MMC. Now, why is it called Olivet Discourse? Now, discourse just means a sermon or a talk that Jesus was having with his disciples, and they were on the Mount of Olives. And he started this talk in Matthew 24, five through eight, and he said this, many will come in my name, claiming I am the Messiah, and they will deceive many. And you're gonna hear of wars and rumors of wars, but don't panic. These things must take place and the end won't come immediately. Nations gonna to go to war against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there's gonna be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. But all of this is just the first of birth pains that mores to come. Does it sound familiar? We're experiencing those birth pains and what we're experiencing now with the rising fuel costs and the shortages on the shelf and then certainly the war, these are birth pains and Jesus tells us that we're gonna see these birth pains increase. See, we're in the middle of a perfect storm. China has just announced their worst winter wheat crop and on top of that, Ukraine and Russia export a third of the world's grain. And because of the sanctions we have with Russia, fertilizer is in question. And Russia is one of the leading fertilizer exporters. And if farmers don't use fertilizer, they have 40% less crops. Now, Jesus was telling us there's gonna be perplexing problems that there's not gonna be answers to. It's just not gonna make sense. It's leading up to the end. And it's enough to make your head spin. And likely that was the state of the disciples that day. It was one thing stacking up on top of another. And from seeing the fig tree withered that morning to the confrontation of the religious leaders questioning Jesus's authority, honestly, everything they knew uh, up to that point was being questioned. And the disciples were processing all of this, just like you might be. But that's the beautiful part about Jesus taking him up on the Mount of Olives. He wanted them to, to see down at a higher perspective. And that's often what you and I need. See, all of this shouldn't make us fearful, but mindful of the times. Jesus knew the day and the appointed times, and that's why Jesus spoke of the fig tree. He wanted us to be watching, but not just from a distance, looking from a distance, but get close up, come in and listen, examine and watch for the appointed times. So you can't hold enough food or money to go through what Jesus is talking about in the end times. That's just the point. We were never gonna be enough on our own. We're never gonna be able to save ourselves. Jesus is your answer. See, the most severe trials are gonna be in the tribulation. It's gonna be more than what we see now. But as a believer, if you've given your life fully to Jesus and you follow him as your Lord and Savior, we're not gonna be a part of the tribulation. But he said, pay attention to the fig tree. Jesus uses that fig tree to know the season, but also to challenge us individually today. See, don't be focused on what outward appearances show, but what grows underneath that's not often visible at a distance. So you don't know your appointed time, but you can be ready. So keep your eye on Israel and come and join us this Sunday and hear more about this risen Savior, Jesus. Join us on campus at 9.30 or 11 a.m. or online at 9.30 a.m. And tune in tomorrow for day four of Passion Week.